Okay, this is just going to be a quick video because, uh, first of all, it's a bit complicated what we have to do here. It's not so bad, but I want to show you how to do it. You can always uh, slow me down and rewind in case I'm not speaking slowly enough, okay? But I'm going to do this quick because it is something additional that uh, that's a little bit extra here, okay? So how do you find the value of A if you're just given a graph, okay? Just like the one we have here. This is from, a te from the textbook. Um, and uh, we'll just go through. We'll, we'll actually. I'm just. I'm not even going to follow the A, B, C, and D you have down there exactly. I'm just going to start showing you how do you find the value of A if you're just given a graph here. We don't really know what A is. It's certainly not one, because if it was one, you would just go one over and one up, two over and four up, and so on. And that's not what happens here. As you can see, it's going. It's going two over and two up. Now. That might look familiar. You might even know the answer just by looking at this graph. It's going two over and two up. Normally, a graph should go two over and four up, right? Well, it's going half as high as it normally does. So, personally, I love that way of doing it, which is just, it's called using your intuition and just saying, hey, normally when you go over two over from the vertex, you're supposed to go four up. This thing's only going half of that. So therefore A should be one half. Okay, so that's probably the quickest way to do it. I'm going to show you the long way to do it and you're probably going to like the first way that I've just talked about. Okay, here we go. Start with A. Find the coordinates of the vertex. Alright, so the coordinates are 3 and negative 7. There they are. 3 across and down 7. Therefore, so H is 3 and K is negative 7. Okay, so we found the values of h and k. Now, for b. It says identify the coordinates of two other points shown. Well, I'm just going to find the one of one of the other points, which is uh, it's 5 across and negative 5. So 5 is x and y would be negative 5. Okay. So there's 5 and negative 5. Whoops. So now that we have all of this information here, we have h, k, x, and y, put all of these into vertex form to find out what a is. Okay? So here's vertex form. Here it is right here. Okay? Vertex form. Put everything where you see the letters. So put the k where you see the k. Put the h where you see the h. Put the 5 where you see the x, the negative 5 where you see the y, and solve for A. And you're going to come up with the answer that we, we said before was just 1 half. Wow, that's a lot of work. But anyway, here we go. So negative 5. Actually, I'm just going to do this quickly. Notice how all the numbers are exactly where they should be. Y is negative 5. There it is. Okay, so what do you do next? Well, the next line down, what you should do is do what's, remember bed mass? You should do what's inside the brackets first. 5 minus 3 is 2. Okay, let's see if... Okay, so 2 and then 2 squared was 4, and that's how the 4 came to be here. The next step is to get rid of this negative 7 by adding 7 to both sides. So negative 7 plus 7, that gets rid of it over here, but over here you got negative 5 plus 7, you get 2, and that's how this 2 came to be. Okay, and then everything else just gets written there. And the next step, which is the last step, is get rid of this 4 by dividing both sides by 4. So you end up getting 2 over 4, as you will see. Or, another, another name for 2 over 4, because remember we were looking for 1 half as our answer. Well, 2 over 4, if you reduce that, divide the top and the bottom by 2, you end up getting 1 half. Okay? And the very last thing this thing says is write an equation for the parabola. Well, all we do is write this all in as an equation. So you leave x and y alone, but you write down everything else you found out. Watch. Okay, y equals, well, there's the 1 half that we found. Remember, we found that a is 1 half. And there's the negative 3. Remember, h was 3. So you just put the 3 right there. Don't forget the squared. And then the, the minus 7 goes on the end. And that is the equation of this parabola right here. Okay? Now, I bet you like the way we did it to begin with, 
but I just had to show you the long way. This is the way the textbook shows it, and I thought I should show you the long way as well. Okay, my way would be to quickly use your intuition, figure out that this is one half, put it in the front. Remember, it's opening upwards, so it's a positive one half. If it was opening down, you'd put a negative. And then the vertex goes right here, the three and the negative seven. There's the three, and here's the negative seven, and you're done. Okay, that's good enough for this video. Thank you.